Lots of people are talking about this new Rasmussen poll of a thousand adult Americans recently surveyed because it reveals significant concerns about vaccine safety and efficacy. The links to the full survey results and a video they made about it can be found here. The thing that caught most people's eyes was that it found 7% suffered a major adverse reaction because if the poll was accurate, that would extrapolate to about 11 million Americans in total. However, there was something else that especially interested me in the poll that nobody's talking about. It found 32% of respondents were unvaccinated. Now, why is this important? It's because the official CDC website claims that 91.6% of American adults have had at least one dose, which means that only 8.4% of adults are unvaccinated, according to the CDC. And that's a very big difference from the 32% in the Rasmussen poll. Now, in the UK, I've reported on similar very large differences between officially claimed proportions of unvaccinated and the proportions found in representative surveys. The latest update of the 9th of December 2022 on the Office for National Statistics website states that 93.6% of people aged at least 12 were vaccinated. That means only 6.4% are unvaccinated and an even lower proportion if we consider only adults. In May 2022, the ONS claimed 8% of adults were unvaccinated. That May figure is important because at the same time, a very extensive ICM poll found a very different proportion. This was the largest representative survey of UK adults to get their views about the vaccine. The full survey is available online here, and you can see exactly what it found. So 26% of UK adults were unvaccinated. Why do these differences matter? Because underestimating the true proportion of the population unvaccinated will exaggerate the efficacy and safety of the vaccine. And to see why, have a look at this simple explanation on my YouTube channel.